Hi lovelies, welcome back to another Watch Me Wait video. Today I am sharing with you another info on one of my clients. However, we already started and then I decided that I wanted to share this simple cute design with you guys. So we already prepped and primed and I went ahead and removed the bulk of acrylic from both her index fingers. And you saw me there, I just applied a nice thin layer of clear acrylic to her index finger to protect it because I want to encapsulate some glitter. And all that's left for me to do on her other nails is just go ahead with my regular infill process where I lay a medium sized bead to the cuticle area which is also known as our cuticle bead. Make sure that it's nice and flush on both my cuticle area and side walls. And when I'm happy with the way that my cuticle area and side walls look, I go ahead and pull that bead all the way to the free edge because I am reconstructing this nail and putting my apex back where I would like it to be. So I did leave my acrylic application in real time so you guys can see how much I focus on laying my acrylic neatly rather than focusing on my speed. So I already went ahead and applied my purple glitter to this finger. Now this turned out to be a really flat purple glitter mix and I wanted it to be a little more iridescent. So I applied wet beads of my clear acrylic and I'm going to be pushing in some strips of mylar into that. After I do that and I'm happy with the amount of mylar that I placed on this nail, I go over the mylar with a wet bead of clear acrylic and allow it to set for a few seconds. So probably when I'm doing the other nail, I would allow this one to set just to make sure that when I'm ready to encapsulate the entire nail that none of the mylar sheets move within my clear acrylic. Now for me, her index finger on both of her hands grow downwards. So there's a really high natural arch to these two nails. So I want to try and make sure to keep the acrylic really, really thin, as thin as possible, but making sure that it also has enough strength to this nail to prevent any source of breaking. So here's what our nails look like at the moment, unfiled, unshaped, just raw. So now I'm just going to go ahead and file shape and buff and I did speed this part of the video up so that it doesn't pick up that much time. And I'll meet you guys right back with the design. time and I did this gel polish just flat gel polish on three of her fingers on each hand I swear to you I had to count to there for a minute but yes we did and this gorgeous magenta if it is that you caught my swatch videos you would know what this color is if not click on the card above and you will see the live swatches of this beauty and this color is called girl power by madam glam and i absolutely have been dying to use it so here i'm showing you guys i took out the sharpies that i figured that would look really good with this design and here i'm just allowing my client to pick which four colors that she wanted and we went with blue yellow purple and orange so i did apply my base color which is my madam glam's perfect white which is the white that i absolutely love and now I'm just randomly placing some scribbles of my Sharpie marker. 
So on this nail, I decided to show you guys what not to do when doing Sharpie marbles. So when you're blending your colors in general, you want to be very careful when blue and orange come together. When blue and orange come together, especially such a dark pigmented blue, you get brown. So you want to be careful of putting those two colors too close to each other and still have it look pretty. So I am just going in with my alcohol over this Sharpie and as you guys can see it doesn't look that appealing because I sort of blended away all the colors. So on this nail I'm going to show you guys how I do my Sharpie marbling. So I started with just going into each color in particular which is I started off with my orange blending around the edges more than I focus on the middle and that's what I do for all the colors I put one drop of alcohol in the middle allow it to spread out and then I go and soften the edges of that boost of color <laughs> so I am also going to show you how I fixed the other nail that I just totally totally messed up like you know, we know how it is. The, these things are trial and error. There is no right way, there's no wrong way. Wherever you feel needs a little bit more color, you can just go back in with your marker. After that nail is completely dried, I wanna throw that in there. You cannot mark on the nail once alcohol is wet on that nail. So remember that. But this one came out absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna show you guys how I fix the next one. honest with you guys I love doing this type of marbling because each nail is so unique okay so moving on I applied my gem gel and we're just going to apply some crystals and some beads to this nail clean it up reapply our top coat our cuticle oil and that was it for this design hey hey really cute really simple but yet it makes a statement that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed sharing with you. If you did, show me by giving this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button right below this video. Coming up, I will have a short clip of the final results along with some pictures. And I'll share with you a bonus snip of the type of music we were listening to recording this set. Do you know the name of that song? Go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. That is it guys. I am officially out. But as always, I'd love for you to keep safe and I'll see you soon. Ooh.